Hello everybody. Hello, Greg Ross here. First, some more rat trapping tips. First of January 2024. Another year bites the dust. So today I'm in my workshop and uh, just revamping a few traps which I've pulled out of service for various reasons. Replace the bait pad, remove the mold from the bait, things like that. Generally check them over. This one, you can see the bait pad in there is pretty well eaten down. The last rat to get in there chewed off most of the bait pad, the cloth bait pad. And uh, this is an old piece of towel that I use. Telling. I use this as bait pad material so in this case the rat has chewed off most of the bait pad but I'm gonna leave it as it's good for another baiting so I'll bait it again until he gets until it gets down to virtually no bait pad left there's still just enough just enough bait pad on there to uh, keep using this trap as it is and probably this trap I pulled it out because it was soaking wet and so if a trap is soaking wet uh, <clears throat> I dry them out. They don't like to be wet. The rats don't like wet, wet bait, and uh, <clears throat> so when they when they get soaked in water, I um, pull them out of service, put another trap there, and uh, dry them out over the wood stove here. So this one definitely needs the bait pad replaced. The last rat in there got. As they usually do, it ate away virtually all of the bait pad before it got caught. So I've got to get the uh, screwdriver in behind here and lift up, pry up the little tab on the bait plate and get what's left of that bait pad out of there. Pull it out and um, cut a new piece of bait pad out of this towel about an inch just over an inch by an inch and a nice absorbent cotton material and then when you've got the bait cap on like this trap has you've got to put the what I do is I fold the bait pad in half like that and push it in from the back and push it under the little tab like this push it under there from the back that's the way the tab is uh, the little tab is lifts up and then get my uh, needle nose pliers and get into the front of it and I still got that old bait pad in there I don't want that there get that out of there okay so get into the front and you can see the new bait pad in there and get your pliers and and crimp that that tab crimp the tab tight on top of the new bait pad okay so they, that bait pad cannot just be pulled out of there it's got to be chewed and tugged and it's going to be soaked in peanut butter and it makes a huge huge difference to the to the number of rats you catch if you do that one little trick put your bait pad in there and crimp it crimp it into the bait plate with the little tab and then soak that in peanut butter and that'll put your catch rate up by about very dramatically put your catch rate up by about 50 percent ah so this trap here i haven't on the release arm i never straightened it out and i like to straighten these out so the release arm has this little bend in it and it's quite a sharp bend and what i like to do is just to straighten it out a bit to make it more of a right angle rather than a curve and I find that just helps a little bit to um, to make sure the trap releases really smoothly, really easily, and uh, there's no sort of hard pressure needed by the rat. He just got to touch it, and bang, he's dead. So you tweak it up, <clears throat> and one of the tweaks, as I said, one of the tweaks I do is to get my pliers and straighten that. End curve. There's two curves. One, two. You get the the end curve, 
the very end curve and just straighten it straighten the arm out so there's not a, so it's not a curve like you get them when they're brand new straighten it out and it makes it work just a tad and all these little things add up okay all these tiny little tweaks add up and they get your catch rate up from 95 percent of the rats that touch the trap it gets it up to say 97 and a half percent or something like that and that's a that's a difference when you're dealing with hundreds of rats like me that's a that means it's five or six rats that you catch that you wouldn't have caught without all the tweaking and uh, any one of those rats can be the hundred thousand dollar rat that, that basically wrecks a house by chewing into the the uh, plumbing causing a leak and uh, see there's another one I pulled this one out because it's it's very very moldy you can see the mold in there a lot of mold on the bait and rats don't like mold so I'm going to clean this bait up and see if it needs a new see if it needs a new bait pad no I think this bait pad's all right still there's not enough, not enough cloth left on it but this trap yeah this trap was soaking wet and it had a lot of mold on the bait plate and the bait and now I've cleaned off the mold there's still enough bait pad in there so uh, we're going to put this trap back into service everything looks good on it and the release is good and uh, yeah she's ready to go back into service so I'll put it straight into my uh, box of my trap reserve here I've got a big box full of traps over there and that's the reserve I have usually look at about a hundred traps hundred traps in reserve in case three or four people phone me at once which is usually what happens you don't get any phone calls for months and then suddenly five or six people phone you in the same day help help me I've got rats in my house so you want to have a good reserve of uh, traps uh, to deal with that situation when everyone's calls on the same day and uh, they're all half out of their minds with with rats in their houses it's not nice to have rats in your house it really isn't it's like mother nature has given you a eviction like this more or less they're saying uh, mother nature saying you have about six months the rats have moved into your house you have about six months before you'll have to move out because you won't be getting any sleep you'll be getting sick your house will be degraded tremendously by the rat poop the smell and uh, the noise and the damage to your house so here's your first notice six months you've got rats in the house either do something about it or in six months you'll be out it's not nice not nice to get that. Okay, so that's me for the day.